Hey there, I'm Rita Bearcat, and today we're gonna cover the On the Basics with Gelatos. I'm super excited because there are a lot of questions that many people have asked me about gelatos, and we're gonna try to answer them today. Do I use gelatos wet or dry? That is a great question, and guess what? You can use them both ways. So the first way that we can use them is, of course, dry. We can use a sponge to blend that color together or even our finger because it's very soft and easy to use. You can also use them wet with a paintbrush. Just put the color down and add a wet paintbrush and you are good to go. Lots of beautiful watercolor effects. Can you use gelatos with stencils? Absolutely. Not only can you use gelatos with stencils, but there are several ways to do this. You can draw right on top of the stencil and blend it in with a soft sponge, like I'm doing here. You can also lift with a baby wipe the color, like I'm doing here. So we have that color down there and we can go right on top with a baby wipe and just lift that color. We can change the color. It's all good. Can you layer gelatos? Great question. Well, we've already showed you how we can do it in with stencils, but yes, absolutely. You can layer gelatos right on top of one another. Now, if you are using the wet technique and you layer gelatos, you wanna make sure that it's dry before you add another color, unless you wanted it to blend with the first color. Can you stamp with gelatos? I am so glad you asked that because yes, you can. Today I'm using a foam stamp and I'm gonna draw right on top of the stamp, making sure that I've covered the entire stamp with the gelato. You can use a couple of colors or one color, however you wanna do it. And then you're gonna mist it with a little bit of water. Look at that. I can not only stamp with it, I can stamp several times with the same color on the stamp. And what about rubber stamps? Yes, you can use it with rubber stamps as well. The only one that is a little bit iffy are acrylic stamps. Sometimes they don't stick, but rubber stamps work great with gelatos. Same thing, just draw right on top of the stamp, mist it with a little bit of water, and stamp your image. What else can you do with gelatos? Well, gelatos are so versatile that you can use them with pretty much anything you can think of. Right now, I'm using it with some modeling paste. So I'm taking a few chunks of the gelato off and smashing them down and mixing them with the paste. And look at that beautiful color, just that little bit of gelato gave to that modeling paste. So we're gonna use this to with a stencil so that we can get lots of texture on our page. Super fun. Do gelatos work with other products for mixed media? Absolutely. Gelatos are very versatile. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of things here. I'm adding some modeling paste directly onto my page. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of collage onto the page because I wanna show you a couple of different techniques that we can use with the gelatos. So here I have some gel medium. And again, I'm taking a little bit of gelatos, just crushing those colors. I took a couple of different colors because I want kind of a sea background and I'm mixing it with the gel medium. Now remember all of your mixed media products that come with no color, you can add gelatos to them and add your own color. I love this technique with the gel medium because it, it creates this clear transparent color on the page. And so you can still see everything that's gone on underneath but you got this beautiful translucent color, like a gel right on top, tinted with that blue-green. Can gelatos work on top of other media? Absolutely. 
So remember earlier we used a little bit of modeling paste and we did some collage? I am drawing right on top. Now you wanna make sure that it's completely dry. I'm using water to kind of spread it around, but you can see it goes right on top of the color and you can use as much or as little color as you want. Can you paint with gelatos? Well, of course you can. Just like we were adding color right on top of everything, you can also be very specific in painting with gelatos. I'm adding gelato right onto my mat and just adding a little bit of water to my paintbrush to pick up that color and transfer it onto my page. You can blend colors this way. You can blend them right on top of your project. They're very versatile and very easy to use. Do gelatos work on fabric? Yes, they do. You can use either the wet technique or the dry technique. You can layer, you can stencil. Everything that you can do on paper, you can do on fabric. Let's see some finished projects. So here you can see, this is the water effect. Coloring on there, dry and then spraying it with some water, lifting up that color. This is a dry on dry technique, putting down the stencil and coloring it in with gelatos on top of gelato already blended. This is also the same technique, dry gelato on the bottom and dry gelato with these stencils. On the bottom of this one, you can see the modeling paste is colored with the gelato right on top. A little bit of water and it looks fantastic. Here are some multicolor gelatos blended in with water. Here's another look at painting with gelatos. So here are all the techniques that we learned today. I hope that you like this video and that you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about gelatos, you can subscribe to our channel. Now here are the details where you can find us. Faber Castell and I'm Rita Barricat. Thanks so much for watching.